This is the solution to written homework 69. So as a reminder, what it means to show that a pair of functions are compositional inverses, it means that we must show that f circ g evaluate at x is x, and also g circ f evaluate at x is x. That's what we must show. <clears throat> so, as it turns out, um, for this pair, uh, we're going to get one of these is true, but not both of them. So I'll do the, I'll do the true one first. But it would be it would be enough to only do uh, the false one. Uh, and then stop there. So let's do f circ g evaluate at x. Well, that's f of g of x. And that is uh, 5 g of x squared plus 7. And that is 5 square root x minus 7 over 5, square that, and then add 7. Well, the square and the square root in that order cancel. So then this is 5, x minus 7 over 5, plus 7. The 5's cancel. So x minus 7 plus 7, the 7's cancel. So this is x. So in that order, um, it works. That is to say that what this means is that f is the left compositional inverse of g, and g is the right compositional inverse of f. However, <coughs> if you do it in the other order, that is to say, if you compute g circ f, evaluate at x, <coughs> this will be g evaluated at f of x, which is square root f of x minus 7 divided by 5, which is square root 5x squared plus 7 minus 7 over 5. That's all in the square root. So now the 7's cancel. The 5's cancel. However, in this order, the square and the square root do not cancel, and that's equal to the absolute value of x. So for this reason, for this reason, Therefore, they are not inverses. Uh, an alternative way to answer this question would be much faster is to observe the following, is that mm, here is the plot of f. <coughs> So f is uh, a quadratic that's been scaled with a positive and greater than one scaling factor. So it's a very tall, sharp quadratic. And then it shifted up a little bit. So f looks like this. So that's the plot of f. And g. like this. So that would be, uh, so x minus 7, uh, so at 7 is where it's 0, it will look like this. So this is the plot of g. So f is not invertible.
So of course f and g can't be uh, compositional inverses because f's not compositionally invertible in the first place. Now, notably, in this exercise, mm, p and f are identical with the exception that the exponent is 3. And g and q are identical with the exception that g's radical number is 2 and q's radical number is 3. But that's enough to completely change the behavior because <coughs> if we do p cert q uh, evaluate at x, well, that's p evaluated at q of x, which is 5 q of x cubed plus 7, which is 5 this thing, cube root, x minus 7 over 5, cube that, add 7. <clears throat> well, the cube and the cube root cancel. Fives cancel. sevens cancel, and you get x. <clears throat> so, so far that's just like the one above it. Uh, however, now's where things get a little different, and that is mm, when we do q circ p, uh, q circ p, evaluate at x, well, that's uh, q of p of x. And that is the cube root of p of x mm, minus 7 over 5, which is the cube root of 5x cubed plus 7, minus 7, over 5. So now the 7s cancel. The 5s cancel. And now the cube and the cube root do cancel. The distinction is is that this this radical is a 2 and when the radical number is even it, it gives you absolute value whereas uh, when it's odd like 3 it gives you just x, no absolute value. So as a result uh, the answer is, therefore, yes, they are inverses. Okay. 